Hey everybody, Mr. McIntosh here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to run multiple displays on your brand new Apple Silicon MacBook Pro or MacBook Air. By default, either laptop can only run one native monitor, whether it's HDMI, Thunderbolt, DisplayPort, or whatever. If you wanna run more than one monitor, you're gonna to have to use Display Link's driver, a dock, or a dongle, and that'll let you add up to four additional monitors to your MacBook Pro or MacBook Air. I'm gonna walk you through how to install the driver, how to set up the software, what kind of docks, dongles, or connections you're gonna need to get multiple displays working on your brand new Apple Silicon Mac. Let's jump in and get started. All right, first, let's talk about what Display Link is. Display Link is a driver that is installed on your Mac that allows you to display over USB 3.0. When you install Display Link Manager from Display Link, it allow you to run up to four additional monitors on your new Apple Silicon MacBook Air or MacBook Pro. And I've got DisplayLink site up here so we can kind of talk about really quickly how that actually works. By looking at the numbers, it may appear that USB may not be able to provide enough bandwidth to provide support for high resolution displays, especially multiple displays. This is only correct if you need to send every pixel of the image, but DisplayLink's technology uses CPU and GPU in your computer to re-encode the desktop image image in real time. This drastically reduces the bandwidth required to send pixels to display, resulting in a high quality, low latency USB image. It does not use all the USB bandwidth and you notice no difference when using other USB peripherals at the same time. So now you have an understanding. It's not hardware native, like just using an HDMI monitor to a USB dongle like this, right? That would be, that's one monitor that this is going to work. So I could just plug this in and plug in my HDMI right here and I'll show you what that looks like. Cord and we'll plug it in here and we should get a monitor here in a second. And there we go. So that is our native monitor number one. And again, we can use Display Link or whatever, or a USB-C Thunderbolt equipped monitor up to 5K, for example, if we wanted to do that. But again, most people, it might be a deal breaker that you can't use more than one monitor. Imagine trying to bring this into the office where you work and they have a nice two monitor setup and you're like, well, shoot, I can only use one monitor. For a lot of people, that's not gonna fly. They need two monitors to do a lot of the work that they're doing and be productive. So that's why the display link setup technology comes in and can solve this issue. You might have heard in the past like display link has problems, it's not good, it doesn't have good resolution, you need to install a kernel extension to do this, it's all this. I gotta be honest, after using this for a little bit, for a couple days here, it works pretty well. If you're just doing you know, email, productivity, PowerPoint apps, even watching videos in YouTube, it works pretty Pretty good and the resolution is good enough for me. If you need high quality video for your editing, that's where your monitor like this is gonna come in or your Thunderbolt display. Yeah. And you can get huge monitors with you know widescreen that's gonna give you enough room and area to be able to do your work or do your video editing. But again, for normal setups, like if you just wanted to have two monitors at home, you've got these monitors, they only cost a couple hundred dollars and you wanna be able to do this, this is gonna be a solution for you until maybe a next generation uh, Apple Silicon chip, maybe like an M2 or something, for example, in the 16 inch MacBook Pro or the iMac or something like that, where you can run multiple displays, uh, more than one native display, for example. So you'll be able to plug in two of these. Or for example, you can use Apple's AV multi-port adapter to be able to run one HDMI here and one HDMI here, and you can run two monitors. We'll have to see in the future if that's an ability. And I think the user base is talking loud enough to say, hey, listen, Apple, we need multiple display monitors for our laptops. So let's jump in and show you how this is gonna work. So what I've got here set up is a older Targus dock that uses display link technology. And what's nice about this dock is this thing's this thing was like made in I think 2012 or 14, and I can't remember the year exactly. But you can literally find these things on eBay for like 40 bucks shipped to your house. Now I couldn't believe how cheap you can get these. So let's take a closer look at what this thing looks like. And I'm gonna unplug this so you guys can see what this looks like in the back. It's kind of nice because it actually you can actually set it under your 
under your laptop you can kind of prop it up if you want to here and then have all your connections in the back and use your keyboard so it's kind of a nice little setup here if you if you think about it but let's take a look at the back here i want to show you the back and what that looks like and all the connections and again there is multiple different docks you can get and i'll get into that and show you but let's take a look at this what's cool is it's got it's got its on and off it's got its power adapter. This is your USB 3.0 cable that's going to go directly into the laptop. And I'll show you that. That's this that's going to go right into the Mac. And this particular model supports DVI and DisplayPort. And you can, and this particular model only supports two monitors off of this dock. And it runs at a maximum of 2K resolution per port. What's neat is, is and you can actually also have an Ethernet and two USB 3.0 uh, plugs too. So again, it's kind of a nice dock. And again, super cheap on eBay. If you want to pick up one of these things, you've got your, your dual monitor setup. You can bring it with you to work, or maybe your work might even have a display. Like a lot of offices have these type of docking stations already set up. So you can just bring your M1 in there, plug it in, and you're working, as long as you have the driver. So let's plug this all back in real quick here. So as you can see, natively, this does not work. If you just plug this in, nothing comes up on display. There's not, no image found. So what are we gonna need to do? Well, all we need to do is go to Display Link's website and download the driver. So I've got this here. All we'll do is we'll go to Google here. we will go to Display Link. Type in Display Link driver, and we can go to all downloads on Display Link site. We'll pick Mac. And we'll scroll down, Display Link Manager Graphics Connectivity Software. We'll click Download. We'll scroll down here, accept the license agreement. Click Allow to download from DisplayLink.com. It's going to download right to your Downloads folder. We'll open that up. And one thing I want to talk about is that DisplayLink has not made this a native Apple Silicon app yet. So what that means is, is before you install it and have it run, it needs to install Rosetta to be able to run the software. Once they come out with a native Apple Silicon app, you won't need to do this anymore. No big deal. This is only a five megabyte download from Apple. It downloads, it installs it in like two seconds here. Other apps will probably need this until everybody has their apps ready for Apple Silicon. Now we'll, we'll walk through the installer. Agree and install. Password. Okay, we're done. And we can keep that. Now when it's done, nothing pops up. So you're gonna wonder, well, what the heck's going on here? Uh, nothing's showing up. You actually have to go into your app uh, hard drive or you can just do uh, command space and do search for display link and display link manager will come up or immediately. Hit enter and it'll start the app for the first time. You're gonna get a notification over here saying, do you wanna receive notifications from display link manager? You can go in and click on the options and allow whatever you wanna do. Now this is the important part. Display Link, Mac OS de detects Display Link as a screen recording app. And it says, would you like to record this screen? Because it's gonna display the screens uh, over the software and over the USB connection. So we need to grant that access to the Display Link Manager in security and privacy preferences located in system preferences. You Obviously you don't wanna deny this. We wanna open up system preferences and it's gonna take us right to the screen recording, a security and privacy pane where the Display Link Manager is in here and it's turned off uh, it's grayed out we need to unlock this as an administrator and then we're going to check mark box this to allow so let's read this so you can understand what this is doing display link manager will not be able to record the contents of your screen until it, it is quit and you can click quit display link manager now and then it'll reopen and then the access will be granted and then you'll be able to display the screens on the monitor so let's quit and reopen and we'll do the command space again display link manager And there we go. Look at that. We got our screens. So let's go in those screens and take a closer look here. We can actually see, and I'll, I'll check, well, you can show you the arrangement and you can, you know, drag your screen wherever you want to do. And the, the menu bar here is your default screen. So if you wanted your default screen, you could kind of bring it up here. You can dra drag that anywhere you want to be your default uh, Mac OS screen. If you want to get the 
different resolutions. Click on scale and you'll be able to click different resolutions for the particular screen. As you can see, it's running in its native 1920 by 1080. That's the HP monitor's native resolution. So you can see it's able to run it at maximum resolution. And that's the same with both monitors here. And you can leave it on uh, defaults for display. Now, if you wanted to, I could plug in an additional monitor right now, like a 4K monitor and have it sitting off to the side and then run these, run three displays, for example. Or I could just run another HP monitor off of this, off of the, these dongles here and then have more screens right away. If you wanted to run an, a, two more display link monitors, or, uh, you can. You just need an additional display link dongle, and I'll show you what those look like here. I've got a couple here, and I wanted to show you the, the, the docking stations. There's a lot of manufacturers, this was made by Targus, but a lot of different, like Dell makes it, Fujitsu, HP, um, all these different docking stations are built by many different third parties. So there's a lot of different ones you can do. And a lot of them will run full 4K resolution. Again, the, the resolution is pretty good and the performance is pretty good. Again, it's never gonna be as good as native, right? For, so if you're playing games or something, right? Or doing video editing. But for general work, it's gonna do the trick for you. Those are some of the docking stations you want. You can look at. This is my docking stations. It's the ACP77USZ. And you can see that it runs on 3.0 and it, you can see where I was talking about the 2K high definition dual video. Now back to those StarTech adapters. StarTech is just one third party that makes display link adapters that allow you to run up to 4K. So for example, look, this is a dual a USB 3.0 dual display part adapter running 4K monitor. So I could plug this in and have an additional two monitors running off the same type of a setup and then run an additional native display. So that's the five total. I'm not sure about sidecar with, with iPad yet. I still wanna be able to test that to see how that works. But this kind of gives you a good overview of how to run multiple displays on your Apple Silicon Mac. So again, if this was a deal breaker for you, this might be something that you wanna take a look at. And again, I told you that you could get these super cheap on eBay. Just try it out and see how it works. If it works, and as you can see, the display is pretty good. I can turn, you know, maybe we can just open up a YouTube video or something here and so you can kind of see how the video looks. See if we can make it full screen here. I mean, it looks pretty good. It's not, it's not crazy high resolution, but it does the trick, right? Again, this is the setup. And I hope this informed you guys a little bit here on how we can kind of work around Apple's kind of limitations with having one native screen here. If you guys have any questions on this setup, let me know in the comments. I'll answer them. We'll see if we can, can't figure something out here for you. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing so you can see more videos like this in the future. Have a good day, guys. We'll talk to you in the next video.